Senior members of the Turkish government, including President Erdogan, attended the funeral service of an officer killed in an attack on a police station in Istanbul on Monday. He was one of eight victims of a wave of attacks across the country on the same day. Turkey is on a state of heightened alert after Ankara started a crackdown on ISIL militants, Kurdish separatists and left-wing insurgent groups. The officer died in Istanbul during an assault on the Fatir police station in the Sultanbayi district. Two assailants were also killed, but it's not known what group they were from. Also in Istanbul, two armed female militants opened fire on the US consulate. Police returned fire and one of the attackers was detained after being injured. The far-left Revolutionary People's Liberation Army front said they were behind the attack. Elsewhere, four police were killed in Salopi in southeastern Sernak province when their armoured vehicle was attacked by Kurdish rebels using a roadside bomb. All in all, Monday was one of the most violent days for Turkey in recent times.